So let's dig into our pizzas. Mmm, looks good. It just melts more in your mouth. Hey guys! So today we are here in Milan, Italy, and we are right here next to the Duomo Cathedral. Right behind us here, we have the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II. This gallery is the oldest shopping gallery of Italy and it was opened in 1877. It's worldwide known for its very beautiful art. They have really cool stores in there like Louis Vuitton, Prada. It's a very beautiful place. Tonight we're here to also have dinner. You know, a lot of shopping happening which makes you hungry. Exactly. So I've built up an appetite and across from one of the stores here behind us is Mota, which is a restaurant and it's very noisy here as you can see. Mm -hmm. But right behind us we have Mota, which is here. And it's been around I believe since 1928. So it's been around for quite a while. What's really cool is just the, the decor that we've been seeing. Every time you pass by you have to look and it's it just really looks beautiful. so enchanting mm -hmm. like you're in this Italian scene yes. in a movie, you know. Even the floor is so yes. beautiful. You have all this art on the floor and, and the I love ceiling, that. ceiling as well. Yeah, it's, it's stunning, really, stunning. It, it, it's something you have to see. And so we don't know what the food is like. This very well may yes. be a tourist spot and, you know. Let's see how the food is, We're right? definitely going to be tourists here, but we yeah. want to see what the food's like. From what we've seen, the atmosphere at the very least is going to be outstanding. Yes, so, so we're going to take you along and show you what it's all about. Let's go. to get a table for two somewhere here. Mm -hmm. Can you just wait outside? Sure. Be ready oh, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. The one with my colleague, then perfect. the last one. The San Pellegrino. Is it a big bottle? or? Okay, we're going to share that. And then we're ready to order this burrata in the front. Is it is it like a it's a pizza or is it uh, bread? Bread. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then one order of the pasta with porcini mushrooms for the appetizer, right? Yes. Appetizer. Yeah, and then after, so we're gonna get the two pizzas, the pizza bufala and the pizza crudo rucola e parmigiano. All right. Thank you. Pasta with burrata and pasta with the mushrooms. Is it together? No. Separado. Oh, okay, yeah, one thing, at a, that's fine. Start with the burrata. Yeah, burrata, then... Yeah, no problem. So we ordered, we got olive oil here and balsamic vinegar. Some San Pellegrino. All Italian. And then we've got some bread here. Take a look. I don't know if they have butter. Oh, the, you have olive oil. <laughs> so you put the olive oil. I was just looking at the neighbor. He's Italian. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit hard. <laughs> but good. Thank you, that's good. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Looks good. So, um, I have my appetizer here. Appetizer. It's actually a pretty big <laughs> blade. So this is homemade pasta with porcini mushrooms. And in Italian it is pasta fatta in casa e trafilata al pronzo con fungi, porcini, trifulati. I'm really excited. Oh, well, I don't need a knife for the pasta, right? It looks really interesting. And you can see like the, the big mushroom pieces right here. Okay, so I will take a nice bite. Mm. You can tell that the pasta is al dente. It's perfectly cooked. And you can tell it's homemade. It's not like some pasta you get it in like places like Olive Garden. <laughs> Nothing against Olive Garden. But this is like, it feels like this is the real deal. It tastes really good. You could also add some olive oil to it if you want. I will just try it a little bit. And just like, 
pictures some olive oil they bring that to your table actually if you eat it together with the bread but you can use it on anything you like and what is also really nice that um, the <coughs> the parmesan cheese on top is very like strong and you can taste it really well it's nice mm. here you go. so i have my burrata right here specifically it's the cheese portion comes with bread, some arugula salad with cherry tomatoes and pesto beneath. It's a really nice appetizer. And in Italian it's pronounced burrata con pomodoro, burrata con pomodorini, pesto di basilico, rucola e pinza. Burrata with cherry tomatoes, basil pesto, rocket salad and pan pizza. Just dig in now the difference between burrata is it has a more creamier taste than mozzarella means it also has more calories <laughs> but that's a good thing I guess <laughs> in terms of taste definitely creamier than mozzarella Ooh. it's like you took a mozzarella and made it put, put more cream in it it just melts more in your mouth you don't really have to chew it it's excellent and you just eat it with the bread or you have the tomatoes and we'll do one with a little bit of everything here. I almost got the pasta. <laughs> I'm so glad I got this. Bread's a little bit crunchy. You can also dunk it in the olive oil. It's a nice mixture of flavors. So if you've never had burrata and you see it on the menu, give it a shot. Thumbs up for me. Thank you. You want that I take? Yeah, place, I yeah? think so. Yes. All right, so let's dig into our pizzas. So I got the pizza crudo, rucola e parmigiano con pomodoro, mozzarella, prosciutto di parma, DOP. <laughs> rucola e scagli di parmigiano, reggiano, DOP. Pizza with PDO parma ham, mozzarella, tomatoes, rocket salad, and PDO parmigiano, reggiano cheese flake. Basically, it's a pizza with meat. Looks like prosciutto I, I would say with arugula on the bottom and we have some good old parmesan cheese mm. to top it off first of all the pizzas don't come cut so you have to use a fork and knife I'm not used to cutting my own pizza <laughs> we're getting there we're getting there 10 hours later <laughs> oh my god I think I got it Mm. Mm. Yeah. It has a lot of flavors in there. I think the with the meat on top gives it a nice salty taste. The sauce is also really on point. It's really light. I'm kind of full from all that food to be honest. And I'm still, you know, able to eat this. Huge thumbs up. Get a pizza when you're in Milan. So I have my pizza and buffalo right here. It looks really good. The pizza buffalo is pizza with PDO, buffalo mozzarella, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, olives, pesto sauce and basil. And in Italian, it's pizza buffalo con pomodorini, olive, lessine, mozzarella di buffalo campagna, DOP, pesto e basilico. Mm. Also a little bit full from the previous dish, but the show must go on, right? And if you're in Italy, you have to eat a pizza as well. Let's try to find a good piece. They actually do not cut the pizza because the saying is here that the pizza has to come to the table hot straight out of the oven. So they don't want to spend time on cutting the pizza. They want to serve it as hot as possible to, to their clients so that the customer has the pizza as fresh as possible. But it's not easy <laughs> to cut. But I get the point here, why they're doing it. And so I got a nice little piece here. So you really have a lot of stuff on this pizza too. It's vegetarian, as you know. But you have mozzarella, you have pesto sauce. You see the cherry, tomato, olives. So there's a lot of goodness on there. You can also see that the edge of the pizza is nicely burned. That's how you eat it here in Italy and it looks really good. Just from the look of it. Let's see how it tastes. Tastes pretty good. 
the bottoms really crispy and all the toppings you can tell they're really fresh the buffalo mozzarella is really like it's so good i don't even think you can get such good mozzarella back in the u.s so after this long meal you have to finish off with some dessert so i packed the pizzas and eat it a little later and i wanted to try the tiramisu it looks really good served in a glass bowl to Milan. In the bottom they have just chocolate. It's a great way to finish an authentic Italian meal in Milan, in the Galleria. <laughs> it's good. Hey guys. hey guys! So we just finished here at the restaurant Motte in the gallery here in Milan, Italy. Yep. We really enjoyed watching the people walking by and in the gallery, right? It was like a real the, nice vibe. Seeing the, the atmosphere of the gallery. How did you like the food? I mean, the food was... The food was not bad, but there are a few things to point out. Yeah. One, pizzas. At the very bottom of the menu, they yeah. are frozen. Say the, that the, the crust is frozen, so it's not a fresh pizza. Yes. You didn't really realize that until after we ordered. <laughs> yes, so that was uh, a kind of shocking because that when you was come to Italy... You to Milan, you to would Milan. expect an, an actual fresh dough at the very least. So yes. that was a disappointment. It wasn't like a Neapolitan ready in 90 seconds yes. you know yeah. but it was a, still a good pizza overall yeah. but just that fact of it being frozen yeah. you know that yes. that so really yeah i would say if you want to just sit down somewhere to watch the, the gallery of people walking by and the atmosphere great place yes but if you want really want to enjoy like real good italian like authentic italian food I would say go find, somewhere find else. Find another spot maybe yeah. because we picked it obviously because we had been eyeing it and we wanted something for sightseeing and just right yes. there. And, yeah. and we took that chance, you know, and sometimes yes, and you know, chances in, are not you know, exactly how you wanted them yeah. to turn out. <laughs> and yeah, and we didn't want to really show it during city. Like right. Because, you know, you don't, because our waitress was nice. Yes, the waitress was really, was nice. really nice. She yeah. was very attentive. Yeah. She got a little busy at the end, and, but waitress. it was really friendly. And, and I get it, they get busy because of where it's at. You yeah. know, there's people coming in and out constantly yeah. and there are all kinds of people from all over the world, right? Dealing with people that speak multiple languages and that exactly, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Very beautiful though, nonetheless. Yes, it is beautiful. You know? But with that said, we will see you on the next one. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.